Life Practice Community. Just take two more rounds of breath. And then we're gonna bring our arms up towards the sky, big inhale. And then interlace the palms, reach them over to the right. Good, come all the way up. Reach your palms over to the left. Lift your arms all the way up. Just release your grip. Take a twist so you land your left palm. Land your right palm. Gaze over the right shoulder. And then lift both arms all the way up. Let's twist the opposite way so you land your left palm. Land your right palm. Gaze over the left shoulder. And then just lift both arms all the way up. So big breath in, arms up. Open your arms in a cactus. Take your right arm underneath the left. And then we'll just do some curves with the spine. So this is a mindful flow two class. So we're gonna be moving with breath, flowing through a series of postures. with the intention being to tap into the moment, tap into mindfulness, and we are gonna be exploring some challenging poses. And I wanna invite you to look into what can you learn from discomfort? What can you gain from discomfort? How can discomfort be your teacher? Let's do one more just little curve in and up. And then open your arms wide. And then we'll go the opposite way. So take your left arm underneath the right. And then you can just curve with the spine. Maybe just doing one more. And then open and unwind the arms, open them back up. And now we're just gonna take our arms up. Maybe just doing one more. And then circle the arms back. The music has stopped again. It does not seem to wanna play today. <laughs> doing one more. And then let's come into a tabletop. Leave your left palm where it is. Lift your right arm up. Thread your right arm underneath your left. And then just lift the left arm around. Maybe you hook it near the hip, gazing over the left shoulder. Good, take one more breath where you are. And then just unwind your arms. So land your left palm, land your right palm. Take your left arm all the way up. Thread your left arm underneath the right. Take the right arm all the way up, hook it near the hip. Take some deep breaths in and out. And then come all the way around, land your right palm, land your left palm. Now let's extend our left leg. Take our right arm up. People keep coming in and out of the waiting room too. <laughs> we lost Yasser. Okay, good. Right arm extended, left arm extended. And then see if you can just do some lifts with your leg and your arm, just some little pulses. 
Good. Five, four, three, two. Good. Last one. Inhale. Tap your elbow to meet your knee. Now let's do a few core crunches. Good, two more. Amazing, last one. Extend the arm and extend the leg. Now perhaps we reach the right arm back, connect the left ankle, just hold here for a few breaths. Good, and then release your right hand, release your left knee, come all the way into a tabletop, and we'll go the opposite way. So lift your left arm, lift your right leg, and do pulses. Five, four, three, two, last one, inhale. Exhale, tap your elbow to meet your knee. And then just do this a few times. One more. Extend the arm and extend the leg. Kick the left palm back, grab hold of the ankle. See how that feels. Holding for five, for four, for three, Good, two. And then on last one, just land your left palm, land your right knee, take a neutral inhale, open through the heart. Take an exhale, crawl through the spine. And now spread through the palms and spread through the fingers. Actually, let's do a little bit of wrist warming up. Let's just sit back on our tucked toes, interlace the palms, I'm gonna turn so you can see me, and just do some like wrist wavy movement. Just kind of like wrist waving it out. And then you can make your palms into fists and do some circles. Good. And then eventually come back down, spread your palms. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, come into a downward facing dog, let your head drop. Take deep breaths in and out. And then what we're gonna do is pull our hearts all the way forward on an inhale, come forward into a plank. And then exhale it back to a down dog. Do three more like this. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, take it back. Two more. Last one, come all the way forward. Land one elbow, and then land the next, come into a forearm plank. And now from your forearm plank, you're gonna take your right arm across the width of the mat, roll onto the sides of the feet, lift the left arm up, and then scoop the arm under and up. Good, two more. And then lift the arm up. Take the left arm across now. Roll onto the edge of the foot, lift the right arm up. Do some scoops under and up. Maybe just three more. Two more. Last one. And then land your right elbow, come into your forearm plank. Lift onto your left palm and then your right palm come into a full plank. 
Do a chaturanga. Roll over the toes, open the heart. Come all the way up and back to your down dog. Step the feet in. Let your head go. Just allow blood to flow to the brain. Release. No worries, Lisa, about the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi in Asia, man, I get it. It's hard. <laughs> okay, take your right leg up towards the sky. Draw your right knee in, take it into a core plank. Good, take it all the way back, three-legged dog. Right knee, right elbow. Take it all the way back. Right knee, left elbow. Take it all the way back. Step the right foot between the palms. Lift the arms all the way up to a crescent lunge. Amazing. Just stay for a breath. And then exhale, take the palms forward, frame the foot. Step your right foot back to meet your left, find your plank. Move through a vinyasa flow, lower down. Lift the heart. Shift up to your down dog. Step the feet in. Lift the left leg up, opposite side. Curve the left knee in. Take it all the way back, three-legged dog. Left knee taps left elbow. Take it all the way back. Left knee taps right elbow. Take it all the way back. Step your left foot between your palms. Lift all the way up to a crescent lunge. And then take both palms forward, frame the foot. Step your left foot back. Find a plank. Good, move through a flow. Coming all the way up to your down dog. Amazing. Now we're gonna add on a little bit more. So take your right leg up towards the sky three-legged dog, bend through the right knee, circle through the hip, opening up through the hip joint, the hip crease, and then eventually bring it all the way around to stack, onto the left hip, and then maybe you take it all the way forward, landing the right toes, opening the heart. Come all the way around, land your right palm. Lift your right leg up. Draw the right knee in, core plank. Take the right leg up. Right knee, right elbow. Take it all the way up. Right knee taps the left elbow. Now maybe you come across, land the edge of the right foot. Land your left heel. This is your fallen triangle. Yeah, you got it. Nice work, team. Land your left palm, lift the right leg all the way up again. Take a big step with your right foot between your palms. Lift the arms up. And now let's explore hovering our back knee and then extending it back up. Take three more. Two more. And then a last one. Press the palms together overhead. Let's lift onto the right leg. Just step forward into a warrior three. Before stepping all the way back, landing onto the left heel. Take your left arm forward, left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, reverse the warrior. And then exhale, windmill both palms to the mat, frame the foot. Nice. 
You can either step straight back to a plank or land onto your left palm, lift the right arm up. Maybe roll into a side plank, scooping the arm under and up for five more, four more, three, two, and then a last one, lift the arm up. Now land the right palm, journey through your flow, or go directly back to down dog. Amazing. Good. We'll do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So take your left leg up towards the sky for three-legged dog. Bend through the left knee, stack the hips. Maybe you flip your dog coming all the way forward, landing the left toes, opening through the heart. Good, come all the way back around, land your left palm, lift your left leg up. Draw the knee in core plank. Extend the left leg all the way back. Left knee is gonna tap left elbow. Good, take it back. Left knee is gonna tap the right elbow. Now maybe you extend the leg all the way out, land the heel, lift the right arm up. And then just land your right palm, lift back to a three-legged dog before stepping the left foot between the palms, come up to your crescent lunge. Nice. Oh no, the music has stopped again. <laughs> the people walk, watching on YouTube are probably like, what music is Alex talking about? <laughs> okay, let's hover the back knee and then lift it up. Just doing three more, two more. Maybe this is the discomfort. One more, lengthen up. So at the start of the class, I talked about discomfort, right? We experience many forms of discomfort in our lives. We experience mental discomfort. We experience physical discomfort, emotional discomfort, discomfort in our jobs, in our relationships. Maybe the discomfort or the challenge today is sitting with this discomfort of this music starting and stopping and us embracing that discomfort. What can we learn from that discomfort? Let's take our palms together, shift weight onto the left foot, tilt the body forward into this warrior three for three, for two. And then after one, land your right heel, Lift your left arm forward, right arm back, warrior two. Inhale, reverse it, land your right palm, lift your left arm up. Take your palms forward, frame the foot. And then land your right palm, lift your left arm up. Come all the way into a side plank. Good, scooping the arm under and up. Nice work team, you're doing amazing. Just three more, two more, good, and then a last one. Lift the arm up, land your left palm, bring your body through a vinyasa flow, lowering down, lifting up. Coming all the way back to your down dog, stepping the feet in. Now we're gonna do one more. Leave your left foot where it is. Lift your right leg up. Bend through the right knee, stack the hips. If you wanna flip your dog again, go for it. Landing the toes, opening through the heart. Land your right palm, lift your right leg up. Draw the knee in, come into a core plank. 
Good, take it up, three-legged dog. Right knee taps, right elbow. Take it back. Right knee taps, left elbow. Now maybe you extend the leg all the way out. Lay on your left heel, lift your left arm up. Good, land your left palm, lift the right leg all the way up. Step the right foot between the palms. Lift up to a crescent lunge. Now this time we're gonna land our left heel. So we're in a warrior one stance. Interlace the palms behind the back body. Open the heart. And then bring the arms forward. So you're humbling your warrior. Allow blood to flow to the brain. Let there be space created between your shoulders. Take one more breath and then come all the way up. See if you can shift weight onto the right foot. Lift your left leg back. So this is a variation of warrior three. Take one more breath. Take a big step back with your left foot. Lift the arms up. Take your left arm back, right arm forward. Land your left palm, reach your right arm up. And then take your right arm forward. Land the elbow onto the thigh, reach the left arm up. Good, you got it. And now maybe you take your right palm down. Perhaps you come into a bind. Take your right arm underneath your left. Good. Let's lift all the way up now. Lengthen your right leg. Reach your right arm forward. Take your right arm alongside your right calf. Lift your left arm up. Amazing. Uchida Trikonasana triangle. Good. See if you can shift weight onto your right foot, right fingertips. This is your Ardha Chandrasana, your half moon. Now maybe you can kick your left foot back. Taking it into a Chapasana. And then come all the way up to stand. Draw your left knee in. Amazing. Okay, now maybe you hook your fingertips around your left big toe. Extend your left leg in front of you. Land your right palm on your right hip. Just stay for five, four, three, two. And then one, step your left foot alongside your right. Take your palms together. Find a mountain moment. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Just think about everything that you have overcome to get to this point.
all the mountains and valleys and peaks and troughs, all the things along your journey. Just think about that. What uncomfortable situations have you been in and what have you learned from the discomfort? How has discomfort been your teacher? Take a big inhale, lift your arms up towards the sky, look up. Exhale, fold. How is discomfort being your teacher right now? Take an inhale, half lift. Exhale, lower, plant the palms, step back to your plank. Just stay strong in your plank, pushing the ground away. Good, you got it. Five, four, nice work team. Three, two, good, and one, move through a flow. So I've been thinking a lot about how much my life has changed and I'm learning to let go of some of the things, some of the things I really miss. Like I really have been having this lockdown nostalgia lately, just missing how much time that we spent together during COVID on our computer screens. And now I'm gaining this appreciation that if lockdown hadn't ended, I wouldn't be able to be having these international retreats and living in Bali and traveling. And so even with endings, there's new beginnings, right? And endings can sometimes bring discomfort and we just have to be open to, to what's next. Take your left leg up, three-legged dog. Excellent. Bend through the left knee and stack the hips. You got it. Now you might come all the way forward and flip your dog, landing the left toes, opening the heart. We have been here before. You know what to do. Good. Come all the way back around, left leg overhead, three-legged dog or one-legged dog, depending on how you look at it. Let's draw the left knee in, come into a core plank. Feel this fire engaging in your navel. You got it. Now lift all the way up and back. Left knee taps left elbow. Take it all the way back. Amazing. Left knee taps right elbow. Good. Take it all the way back. Amazing. Step your left foot between your palms. Lift all the way up. Land your right heel. Lift your arms up. Open through the heart. And then hinge forward. Now there's officially two dead bugs at the front of my yoga mat that my cat has captured and brought in in her mouth and dropped for me as presents. <laughs> And this is the cycle of life, right? Death and rebirth. We've all had these cycles of endings and beginnings in our lives, whether it's endings of relationships, people we love leaving the physical earth. Let's lift all the way up now. See if you can shift weight onto your left foot. Extend your right leg. Balance. Press through your big toe. Take deep breaths. Step your right foot all the way back. Lift your arms up. Take your right arm back, left arm forward, warrior two. Good, you guys are still there, even if the music isn't. Let's inhale, reverse the warrior. 
and then come all the way forward, left elbow onto the left thigh. And you can choose what you do here, whether you wanna keep the elbow there, land the palm, maybe interlace the fingers. I did yoga years and years ago at this yoga studio in Toronto called Moksha, it's now Moto. And when I was practicing yoga there, it was under construction. And I remember that we used to get so annoyed at the construction. Let's lift all the way up. Lengthen the left leg, reach the left arm forward. Take your left arm alongside your left calf, lift the right arm up. And one of the yoga teachers said that the construction was actually an opportunity for us to get deeper into our meditation. And my mom said that he was just trying to convince us to keep our memberships. <laughs> But years later, I finally understand what he meant by that because life is never going to be perfect. We're never going to be in a soundproof, silent, beautiful smelling yoga room that's clean, right? We're going to have cats delivering dead bugs to us as we practice and music cutting in and out. And this is the opportunity for us. Can we practice patience and stillness and peace? In moments of difficulty, in moments of discomfort, what can we draw on to keep ourselves grounded? Shift weight onto the left foot, left fingertips. Lift into your half moon. Maybe you kick the right foot back. Take a quad stretch. and then come all the way up. Hook your fingertips around your right big toe. Extend your right leg in front of you. Or just hold on to the knee. Just take three. If you fall, two, it's okay. And then one good work team, land your right foot. Just anchor in the moment. Let the body find the middle. The mind find the moment. Take your toes out, let your heels be inwards. See if you can just bend the knees, sit down into a squat. Beauty. And now option one, you just chill here. Option two, you land your palms, lift your bottom up, shift weight. Onto your palms, lift your toes, find your balance. This is your bakasana, your crow. Five, four, three, two. And then on one step or hop back. Nice, move through a vinyasa flow. You got it. Or pet your cat. <laughs> Love it. And then just draw our knees into our chest. Give our bodies a sweet little hug. And we'll do one last crossing of the legs. Last one of the day. We're going to come all the way forward onto your back. Cross your left thigh on top of the right. And just drop the knees over to the right. Gaze over towards the left. your manifestation process it's not about getting or receiving or making something it's about being 
right? Being in a state of joy, being in a state of gratitude. Seeing what comes from that. And just having the curiosity to keep peeling back the layers of the onion until you get to the root cause of what's really going on. Let's come all the way up. And then go the opposite way. So crisscrossing the opposite leg dropping the knees, gazing over the right shoulder. And then let's lift both knees up, give the body one last little hug. And then eventually slowly extend the legs all the way out. Coming into your final resting pose. When you're lost and alone, or oh, you're sinking like a stone, carry on. May your past be the sound of your feet upon the ground, and carry on. When you're lost and alone, or oh, you're sinking like a stone. Carry on, and may your past be the sound of your feet upon the ground, and carry on, carry on, carry on. Just give your fingers and toes a little wake up wiggle. A nice, sweet, and soft stretch all the way from your fingers to your toes.
Take the knees into the chest, give the body a sweet and soft little hug. And then just gently bring yourself all the way up to seated with the palms at the heart center. So we close this practice together with an intention. And it's an ancient intention. It's the original intention. It's been passed from heart to heart through thousands of years. And it's that our practice remain steady and our efforts remain continuous and that our yoga helps and heals and it serves and it benefits all beings everywhere. May all beings be safe. May they be happy, healthy, and free. May the thoughts and the actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. So we'll just finish with an ohm sound. We're going to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and make an ohm. So take a big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for being here, for sharing the space and the practice with me. I'm very grateful for each one of you. Light in me, it sees and it honors the light in you. Thank you, thank you.